Quickness Scrapper is a very good build for open world content. It offers very high bursty damage by maintaining quickness and 25 stacks of might 100% of the fight, and it offers a lot of sustain by maintaining a very high percentage of barrier. In this video, we will learn all the details about the build and how can we use it. We will start by looking at the gear. We are using a full set of Diviner Armor with superior runes of the pack, Valkyr Weapon with Rage and Strength Sigils, and we are using 4 pieces of Ascended Trinkets that are Diviner, and 1 accessory with 1 ring that is Marauder. I personally just added those couple of pieces for the extra vitality, but you do not have to. You can go full Diviner if you want. You can also go full Marauder if you found yourself struggling with Sustain. And if Marauder Trinkets was not enough for Sustain, you can run Commander Armor instead. Another good option for the runes can be the Fireworks. It has very similar bonuses to the pack runes, but the difference is that it will give you 25% movement speed all the time, which can be good in open world, especially during the fight, but it will also give less DPS because it will not give you precision like pack runes. I have other guides that explains how to get level 80 exotic and ascended gear and trinkets that are stat selectable from multiple sources. I will leave the links for them in the comments and description. For the food we are using plate of truffle steak or if that was expensive you can have the plate of steak and asparagus. We also have the steak with winterberry sauce which gives the exact same effects as plate of truffle steak but it also offers 30% magic find on top of that. This food is actually cheaper to craft than both the truffle steak and the steak and asparagus. You can craft it by buying the recipe from this heart in Better Frost Frontier, but keep in mind that the recipe will require some winter berries. For the stones, we are using potent superior sharpening stones, which will last for one hour, or as a much cheaper alternative, you have the hardened sharpening stone, which will offer a little bit less DPS, but much more affordable. You can also have tin of fruit cake, which will have the same bonuses as the potent sharpening stone, but it will give extra 10% karma but as you can see this is almost the same price as the potent sharpening stone and it only lasts for 30 minutes Next, we will look at the traits. Alchemy is where our sustain comes from. Compounding chemicals will heal us for every boon we will give ourselves, and it will give us 240 concentration, which will contribute significantly to our boon duration. Iron Blooded will reduce the damage and condition damage we take by 2% per boon we will have. I will leave some footage at the end of the video that will show you how the build works, and you will see how many boons we will constantly be able to maintain, which will make Iron Blooded a very good trait to have. Emergency Elixir will give us a lot of barrier and protection if we dropped below 33%, which will be very rare. And Hidden Flask will offer some boons when we drop below 75% which will further help with our sustain. Firearms is where we get a lot of our damage. Those three traits combined will maintain a very high critical chance in the build, which will be incredibly helpful. On top of that, no scope will make our fury give extra ferocity. And as you will see, you will be able to maintain a very high uptime of fury during the entire fight. So this extra ferocity is almost permanent. Scrapper is where we get a lot of our burst damage and maintain 100% quickness. Kinetic Accelerator will give quickness to you and allies that you will apply super speed to. And if we look at Gyroscopic Acceleration, you can see that all your will abilities will give super speed. Will abilities are basically your gyros, and on top of that, your function gyro, which is your F5, will also apply super speed. This will work very well with our Grandmaster trait, and this is how we are going to maintain 100% quickness. On top of that, Object in Motion will increase our damage by 5% if we have super speed or swiftness or stability. And as we saw from the gyroscopic acceleration, we are going to have a lot of super speed. So this will help a lot with both traits, object in motion and kinetic accelerator. And keep in mind that object in motion will increase the damage you do by 5% for each one of the three effects you have, super speed, swiftness or stability. And more often than not, you will find yourself with at least two of them. Impact Savant will convert 15% of our damage into bad. And as you will see later in the footage, this will mean that you will be running with a lot of barrier 100% of the time. 
The utility skills we are using are basically full gyros with Elixir U. Medic Gyro and Sneak Gyro are both very good options and you should not change them. However, Purge and Bulwark Gyro can both be replaced based on the situation. Purge Gyro is your only option for cleanses. However, you will find yourself not even in need of cleanses because of the insane amount of barrier you will apply. So you can swap Purge Gyro out for more offensive option if you want, but I personally try to be safe and I keep it on my bar. Bulwark Gyro is there for two reasons. It will give us an insane amount of barrier, which will significantly help even more with our sustain in the fight, and it will give us the defense field to built skill which will give us stability that we can need sometimes in open world and it will also block projectiles but don't forget that stability is one of the boons that will increase our damage by five percent so you can use defense field as an offensive option however you can also swap it out for a more offensive option blast gyro will have multiple offensive benefits first of all the gyro itself acts as a fire field and it blasts at the same time which will do area might as you can see on the screen which will give you a lot of might on top of that, it will give us the bypass coating tool build skill, which will give super speed, which will work very well with object in motion and kinetic accelerator. The only downside to this gyro is that it launches enemies back, which is not always something you want to do in PvE. Most of the time, you want to group up mobs together to kill them quickly. Another good offensive option is Shredder Gyro. It will do a lot of damage on its own, but if you use it with your Hammer 5, it will do a lot of well finishes which will contribute even more to your DPS. Now that we understand how the build works, we need to understand how super speed works. Super speed does not stack duration. If you look at F1 skill, it will give 7 seconds of super speed. And if we look for example at Toss Elixir U, it will give us 3 seconds of super speed. The way this will work, whatever you will apply last will override whatever currently exists. So if I use my F1, I can see that it will last for 7 seconds. But if I use my F1 and then right away toss my Elixir U, you can see that I no longer got it for 7 seconds, instead I got it only for 3 seconds from the toss Elixir U. So you want to be careful when you are applying your super speed and try to space them out. And that will take us to speed of synergy. This will give 7 seconds of super speed to you only when you use your F1 skill and it will give you and allies super speed when you use your healing skill. Skill. And that means if I use Medic Gyro, I will benefit from it twice. Once from Speed of Synergy, which will give me super speed, and then quickness because of Kinetic Accelerator. And when the effect expires, it triggered Gyroscopic Acceleration, which gave me super speed again and quickness. As for the rotation, start with Elixir U and your F1 for the quickness and super speed and then follow up with your hammer 5, hammer 2 and auto attack for the DPS and from that point forward spam all your other skills but try to space them out to make the maximum benefit of the super speed and don't allow it to overlap and override each other's. As you noticed, we were able to maintain quickness and 25 stacks of might during the entire fight and a high duration of super speed as well. I was not even very efficient with spacing out my skills and you can do much better than this. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please consider subscribing and leaving a like and share it with your friends and guildies who play Scrapper and may find this build useful. You can also follow me on Twitter to stay updated anytime we post anything new or go live streaming and you can also join our community discord where we have a lot of kind and very nice people who will be very happy to help you including myself thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time